No, I'm not saying every little thing that is done to me will eventually be done to you, even though I have actually been saying that for at least 10 years, probably closer to 20. And uh, seems to be pretty consistent. I mean, slowly but surely. And the reason I'm making this little video is because thought came to me about the the, the law that passed in Washington about <clears throat> how if kids think their parents are not going to support their decision to have a sex change and all that other stuff, they can just run to, uh, huh, like that sign right there. But I, can I show it? Um, it says safe place where they can run to their safe place you know a lot of mcdonald's have that on their windows and stuff and it's an eye like an eye like you know the all-seeing eye and it says safe place or safe space yeah they can run to the safe place right <laughs> i think it's actually a triangle on the mcdonald's ones triangle like a pyramid with an eye in the center safe place <laughs> yeah but anyway, um, yeah, they can run there. So how does that pertain to my life? Well, that's not exactly what happened to me, right? Uh, it's more what happened to my mom, right? In and out of mental institutes for what? To cover up abuse. That's what it sounds like. Um, and that's coming from my sister's dad, Mr. Merchant. And he's a fucking scumbag as far as I'm concerned. But that came out of his mouth to cover up abuse. Of course, my mom and her family insist it was him that did it. I think it was all of them. That's what I think. Anyway, it made her crazy or whatever. And, um, you know. But anyway, so how does this pertain to my life or her life, I should say? Um, in and out of mental institutes, not knowing where your kid's at, so that you can do what you want with the child, and is that not, does that not sound about right? Does that not sound about right? It does, doesn't it? Sounds exactly right, doesn't it?